So, social media, it's, uh, well, you know what social media is. If you don't, you're probably like 95 and just confused with the world right now, so I'm sorry. I don't know how you stumbled on my videos on YouTube, but you should run away. Today, we're gonna look at some of the worst social media posts ever. This is your bad at social media number 36. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know why I said that, it's so weird. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? First, we'll start with this picture. So this girl posts this picture. There's nothing wrong with that. If a girl wants to post a picture on the internet, that's fine. Wow, I am in love with your hot, sexy body. Wow, wow, yummy. Like to see what you got hiding that thing, smiley face. Are you one fuck? Big boobs. Why is it that guys online just go fucking brain dead when a woman posts a picture with some cleavage or something in it? You guys gotta calm down and pace yourself, okay? Like this one's like, are you one fuck? What are you even writing? You gotta take your dick out of your hand and type with two hands hands and be precise with what you're saying because you're coming off as horny special needs people miss you grandma something tells me your grandma doesn't miss you don't rub your ass crack on your grandma's gravestone that's disrespectful would you rub your ass crack on your grandma because that's kind of what you're doing here you're basically wiping your ass with a tombstone right now don't fucking do that that lasagna looks crisp that's my daughter. Hey, you can't get mad at someone just because your daughter looks like a delicious lasagna. Looking for dog. Free. Hi, I'm looking for a small, medium dog. Are there anyone can't take care of his slash her anymore? Please inbox me. Thanks. First of all, that sentence was a hot mess. Are there anyone can't take care of his or her anymore? Please inbox me. And this kind of thing pisses me off, okay? If you're looking for a free dog, dogs aren't free. Even if you don't have to purchase the dog, dogs are not free. If you can't afford to buy a dog, you can't afford to take care of a dog because there's going to be vet bills, there's going to be food, there's going to be a lot of other costs that come with getting a dog. So please don't get a dog if you can't afford to actually buy one. Don't go for a freebie because trust me, that dog is going to get fucking expensive. Like my dog ate an onion dip off the floor one time, then started shitting blood. $1,700 later, she was fine again. Here's a little note. If you don't know, onions are very toxic to dogs. Try not to drop onion dip on the floor, because your dog might shit blood. Just made medium rare chicken strips. They're so good. Can't believe I haven't tried it like this before. Can't wait to dig in with my homemade salad and veg. Hashtag healthy. Hashtag New Year's resolution. Hashtag clean. Hashtag clean eating. Hashtag you're gonna get salmonella poisoning and die. Um, you're gonna get salmonella. Uh, don't think so. This is chicken, not salmon. If you don't know that you can't eat chicken raw, you should not be cooking. You should not be operating an oven or a stove or a barbecue. You should not be cooking. Salmon Vanilla poisoning is a serious problem. I really hope this was just a troll and she didn't actually eat that because, oh my god. Oh, I feel sorry for her. It's the same reason you don't eat pork, raw because you don't want to get a tapeworm in your brain. And I know you're like, whoa, a tapeworm in your brain? You can't get a tapeworm in your brain? Well, tell that to this guy who had a tapeworm removed from his brain. I read that story a while ago and I stopped eating pork for like three years. Found six baby mice in my dresser. Anyone want to buy them? You must be desperate for money and a pretty dirty person if there's mice living in your drawer. And you're trying to sell them to make a profit. You're turning your rodent problem into profit. <laughs> anyone want to buy that rat that just scurried across my floor? I wonder if anyone actually bought them. How much you selling them for? Like a dollar a piece? I know a girl that's looking for a free dog. Maybe she'll take those mice off your hands. A woman on the subway printed out 15 pages of Facebook posts and is just reading the comments. That woman does not understand how a cell phone works. Just download the Facebook app and save some fucking trees. I hate waking up. Me too. But it's better than dying in your sleep. Have a good day. Love you. <laughs> That grandma is savage. She makes a good point, though. I love my sister no matter what. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. That's just gross. So what the fuck is all over her neck? Are those just a bunch of hickeys that he gave her? Or has he been strangling her? Or maybe her throat got ran over by a tire. <laughs> this is just disgusting. Let's just move on from this one. Dear Gregory, my friend Susan just started on the Facebook. And she helped me set one up, too. She's using it to talk to her son in graduate school, and I thought that since you have trouble returning voicemails from your dear old mother, I'd give it a try. XOXO mom. Hey, miss. I think you got the wrong person. Honest mistake, I'm sure. Dear Gregory, obviously you've inherited your father's crackpot sense of humor. This is a good way for us to keep in touch, but I can't seem to see the rest of your page. Is something wrong? Okay, well, keep in touch and call soon. Mom. Hey, yeah... 
I don't really know what's going on, but you're not my mom. And you know what? Let's just end this video with this fucked up kid again. We stole a car and we're gonna drive it out to this abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. We go and fuck in this car and then I'll take her inside the house, bang her, then leave her there. Last time we went there, we saw a dead man chained to the wall in the basement. I wanted to fuck him, but she didn't let me because she don't want my dick to get dirty. She's very picky. But yeah, we gonna fuck them. I'll lock her in the basement until next week. If she's hungry, she can eat the dead guy's dick. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Oh, you guys are like 12. You should not be talking like that. Fucking, oh, this fucking kid. <laughs> he makes for great material, though. I must say, but what the fuck is wrong with him? So thanks for watching my You're Bad at Social Media number 36. I hope you enjoyed it. I asked you guys over on Patreon what you wanted to see today, and you suggested you're bad at social media a lot of you wanted this some of you suggested other things but it seemed like the general consensus is a lot of people wanted to see another one of these videos so if you did enjoy this series and hit the like button down below leave a comment down below and if you want to support me even more then head over to my patreon page patreon.com slash fluffy talks and look at the rewards you can gain over there and i'll be adding more eventually i just gotta think of what I really want to add on there. Right now, there's just three tiers, and I think that's good enough for now. Also, if you have a suggestion of when you want me to do my first live stream Q&A over on Patreon, then uh, leave a comment down here or message me over on Patreon. Just let me know when you guys are free and you want to see that. I'm still trying to decide on a time, but it'll be fun. So I'll see you guys again soon. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys again really soon. I love you.